I'm um, going to give a quick lightning talk about an idea um, I came up with um, after thinking about a conversation I had a few years ago with a woman named Mary Scotton. She is uh, she works for Salesforce. She's uh, technical. She's also on relation on the developer relations side. And she was talking about how she went to this conference, a Salesforce conference, and even though she's a Salesforce employee, um, she's, uh, as a woman in tech and, and as an underrepresented uh, uh, person in tech, she f sometimes felt like an outsider. And so her and a group of women got together right before the talk, and they like hung out together, and they talked each other up. And they, by the time the, the conference started, they were all like, they were raring to go. They were super excited, and, and they walked in there, and she said they just kicked butt, and it was a great experience. And I, and, I, and I just, that's always been in the back of my head, right? How can we replicate that for other people? Because, um, well, I don't have that problem. I'm a white guy in tech, and I got my bachelor's degree in 1996, and um, it's never been a problem for me, right? It's like I'm the core demographic of tech, so it's not a problem for me. Um, but so I came up with this idea and I pitched it to the Tech Omaha crew uh, last month about setting up an ambassador program, right? Let's get, let's, let's create a safety net for people who want to attend meetups and attend events um, in the Omaha tech community, but maybe, um, maybe they're introverts or they're underrepresented or, um, or they came to tech late, right? Maybe this is a part of a career transition, right? So, so how do you create this opportunity? And so we came up with this really simple idea where we're going to um, uh, try and create this ambassador program. And if you want to meet with an ambassador before a meeting, like let's say OJUG, which is one of the uh, meetup groups I, I participate in, you would go onto the Tech Omaha site, you'd fill out a little um, uh, request for, for an ambassador, the ambassador would, would meet with you, um, briefly before uh, the uh, meeting or the meetup. They'd maybe hang out with you or introduce you to people during the meetup, and then after the meetup, they'd be, uh, they'd be available for questions or comments or stuff like that. You know, potentially outside of whatever the normal post-meetup activities are. If the person's not comfortable going for drinks, that's okay. Don't go for drinks. Sit right outside the venue or go somewhere else. Um, have a conversation. Um, and so there's two sides to this. First of all, um, if, if, if you're interested in being an ambassador, look for the, look for the sign up page on Tech Omaha. We're gonna be building that soon, hopefully. Um, there'll be a separate code of conduct to help make sure that nothing goes wrong. Um, and then there'll be suggestions and we're always looking for feedback as well because we're just starting this out. And then of course, if you are trying to get more into tech in Omaha and you're feeling like maybe um, there's a barrier to entry or there's some, some things about it that aren't really working for you, um, also look for the page because you're the people we want to, want to work with and people we want to help and, and, and get more involved in, in, uh, in the tech scene in Omaha. Um, so that's the, there's the elevator pitch. Um, does anyone have any questions or comments? Uh, feedback is always appreciated. This is, this is, we're very early in the process and um, and we don't pretend to know everything. Jackie. So how do you become a tech ambassador? So we're gonna, um, again, we're gonna uh, look at creating a sign-up page. There will be some kind of announcement. Um, we'll try and spread the word, I think, through the Tech Omaha website. Um, Ryan's gonna help me with that, I think. Um, and then, of course, the Twitter feed, right? Twi tech Omaha has a Twitter feed, which is great, not only um, for things like this, but also to remind you that these events are going on. So look at the Tech Omaha Twitter feed would be a good place to look. We'll probably definitely make sure that's announced on there. Yeah. Do you have a plan for how you're gonna get people to, that are, that would, how are you gonna get the people that, are, that ambassadors are gonna work with? Do you have a plan for that? Um, so hopefully we can get the different meetup groups um, or the different, because some of them are not on meetup get them to just kind of advertise it a little bit. Um, it's gonna be on a group by group basis. We have to socialize that. So um, I have a lot of confidence in a lot of the tech groups here in Omaha. They're, they are by and large really good groups of people, which is why I'm comfortable doing this because, or suggesting this, because I, I just think it's, it, by and large Omaha is very lucky in that regard. It's, it's more of a missed opportunity than, than anything that is nefarious or, 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 or problematic, really. 
so have you um, reached out to like some more typical campuses like AIM, you know, Metro, told you about if they could also be help in spreading this? Because no, but that's a... We're actively hoping to basically just provide diverse peoples, and probably most of these people are going to be going through traditional um, you know, educational means, and for the most part, there's still a need for diversity in that as well. If they knew that, hey, there's this you know, side avenue I could go down in my free mm -hmm. time, they may be willing to listen to me about that, some of the main campuses. I'm sure AIM definitely, mm -hmm. um, Metro may as well, and maybe you know. No, th those are very good ideas. I'll definitely definitely uh, we'll, we'll approach that because um, that yeah I hadn't really considered that I've been out of school for a while but that's a, that's a very good insight thank you all right all right I've got it okay Thanks. I love lightning talks